Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So we're going to try to go through some component recognition, um, <clears throat> just what certain things are uh, for for like e-waste, that kind of thing. So if you're interested, stick around. We'll show you what we got. Alright, so I have my stuff sorted out for the most part. <clears throat> it's for the breakdown. Uh, this stuff up here is just mainly ice, uh, ICs. Shoo! Wow. Alright. These six drawers here are mainly um, processors. <clears throat> and they come in all different shapes, sizes, stuff like that. So, I mean, that's a Pentium, Intel Pentium 166. Uh, it's one of the uh, higher grade chips. <clears throat> you make pretty good money off those. <clears throat> I've got... This is DLP. Normally found in uh, projectors. This is an AMD <clears throat> ceramic. No metal. All my i-series chips are in this box right here, uh, packaged up, ready to go. I've already written everything down. <clears throat> as far as you know, what they are, about one hundred and seventy-eight dollars worth, just in that little row right there. <clears throat> This is my no pin CPU drawer. So, as you can see, there's no pins. <clears throat> They're flat. Normally get a whole lot of those. Slot processors, uh, these are actual cards. This is the processor in the computer. Instead of it just being one of those other chips, <clears throat> it slides into a slot that's why it's a slot processor on the uh, motherboard inside the computer and that's what gives you the slot processor <clears throat> and they do come in different shapes sizes colors all that stuff <clears throat> so this is green brown fiber no metal um, so this is normally gonna be what you're looking at this is green all the pins <clears throat> you get some of those <clears throat> I think those are more like laptop than anything if I remember correctly uh, this is your P4 and your green fiber with metal <clears throat> so if you take the metal off of these then you can move them over here to these. It pays higher without the metal on there. But board sort changed it so with the metal on there you're coming out basically the same. So it's not worth your time to take the metal off anymore. <clears throat> so uh, you're mainly looking at stuff like this. So most people will pop those off and put it in number two copper. <clears throat> And you've got all these pins. So, I mean, all that's processors uh, out of computers for the most part. You can find them in, in different other things. So, my tantalum capacitors has kind of gotten a little mixed up. <clears throat> Normally, you're looking for these itty bitty little things like this. You see that plus mark? <clears throat> so, normally they have a line. Or a line with a plus on them as tantalum capacitors. I don't pull many of them. <clears throat> they can be yellow or black. See, it's got a little line on the end right there. Um, <clears throat> they are pretty valuable, but it takes a whole lot to really equal any uh, <clears throat> any weight. 
And I only pull the big stuff. The small ones is just, it's just not worth my time. <coughs> Crystal oscillators. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. This sickness is kicking my butt. So I've got a few crystal oscillators in here. They tend to come in pretty much three different sizes uh, for the most part. Uh, and this is your, your three. You've got the small one there. Um, take those off the board. Super easy. Just grab them with pliers and twists and they pop right off. Uh, that's your big one. <clears throat> Again, grab it with pliers and twists. It'll pop right off. And that's your huge one. <clears throat> Um, you can pretty much do the same. Grab them and twist. They'll come right off. Um, they add up. It's not something you see a whole, whole lot of. Um, but they do add up over time. And I don't take this stuff off the computer boards. I take them off of... <clears throat> There's the other one. Um, other things. Uh, the computer boards, I pretty much... Uh, leave as they are. It's only a few things that you really need to take off of there. Uh, this is also one uh, These are a lot harder to get off without busting them all to pieces But I think these are the the ones that's got some gold around the outside or something like that uh, Kind of hard to see in this light. I'm sure But they're tiny they sit on the board flat like this. So it's not a lot to grab a hold of and normally when you grab a hold of it and twist it, the whole thing just busts into pieces. <clears throat> gold corner BGAs. So these do normally hold most of the, the gold value. Um, so you can see all it is, is, it's a flat pack basically with a gold corner on it. <clears throat> so you know, it lets you know it's a gold corner BGA. Let's see if we can find one we can see the inside of. Yeah, I'm not seeing the gold in that one. Um, but quite often you can see gold flashing around the inside of it. That's one of the reasons. <clears throat> and then the ceramic piece on top has got gold in it. And that actually has most of the gold. Here we go. <clears throat> so you can see the gold flashing on that one. these are are one of the higher quality chips and they do have gold in them not as easy to recover the gold from these as it is some of the other things but still not that bad or you can sell them um, board sort of buy this stuff by the pound um, You can sell them to refiners, online, you know, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> again, I don't take them off the computers. I just take them off of other things. So, this doesn't have much in it now. But this was my cell phone uh, drawer where I was keeping all my little cell phone things. Uh, memory cards and all that and I just dropped that in solution tonight so uh, yeah we're gonna see how much reco we recover from that but <clears throat> these are just BGAs that are left in here no gold corner or anything like that uh, BGAs do also have some gold in them but not not nothing compared to the gold corner ones all right, I see flat packs. So these are flat packs. Um, you're going to have pins on all four sides. Makes it a flat pack. You can run around them with an X-Acto knife or a pocket knife or a screwdriver or whatever makes you happy. And then they come right up off the board. There's nothing underneath them to hold them. It's just those pins on all four sides. Uh, they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Looks like a gold corner BGA. Interesting. I'm not sure why it's in there. <clears throat> but yeah, so I mean, you've got big ones, you've got small ones. Some have them. Some of them have lots of pins on the outside. Some of them don't. Don't have nearly as much. Um, 
so that is a category of stuff you can collect and uh, get gold out of or again sell them online sell them to board sort uh, whatever makes you happy anyhow so that's that I got a couple of those and then I have you got the IC chip so I'm not sure if this would fall in the IC chip category to be honest with you uh, IC chips is legs on two sides uh, has to be three or more legs on both sides for it to classify as an IC chip. So if it's just two legs on each side, it doesn't count. Leave it alone. Uh, this come out of a, a TV. I'm not sure what that classifies as either. Um, at least somebody told me it's kind of like just like a big processor. I'm not sure what's in it. Haven't been able to get a lot of great information about it. <clears throat> So I don't know what to do with it, but it looks kind of like an IC chip with low legs on both sides. So it's in my IC chip drawer for now. But these come in all shapes and sizes and colors and all that stuff. So these are more like EPROMs. They've got a window in them. As you can see, there's, there's gold inside of that one. So it'll either be gold or silver in that window. These are normally set in sockets. <coughs> So they normally set right in a socket on the board, it pushes right in. So you can grab it by two sides and pull it right out, stick a screwdriver underneath it, whatever, pry it out. <clears throat> These are worth more than the regular IC chips. So you just scratch, you see there's a label always across, almost always across that window. Scratch that label off and you'll see gold inside or it may all be silver. So it just depends but that's got gold and the other one did too they don't all have to be black you can find them in different colors again three or more legs on both sides this has got three legs on both sides there is gold in these <clears throat> there's all kinds of different sizes and shapes uh, but your EPROMs I, I'd say keep them separate if it's actually an EPROM uh, so you don't get it mixed up at least until you know what you're doing uh, you don't run across a whole lot of EPROMs anymore most everything is just going to be an IC chip and uh, as you can see they they stack up too I got a couple of them in there this one uh, didn't want to come off the board so I took the board with it it happens but yeah I've got a few EPROMs in there I've got couple yellow and and other colored chips but there's a, a bunch of IC chips in here they do get really small way smaller than this if you want to take the time to pull them off but it's going to take forever for them to add up to any type of weight so the big ones are probably the better better thing to go after but some of the boards I'm doing stuff with they just got a couple of those little tiny ones on there and nothing else on the boards worth anything so I just rip it off of there and keep on going. But yeah, so I see, I see chips. Six legs, three on each side or more. All right. I see flat packs is gonna have legs on four sides. legs all the way around all right then you have crystal oscillators and these are probably the three most common easiest to spot find pull off that kind of thing uh, your gold corner BGAs have the gold tab on the corner that's why they're called Gold Corner BGA. Uh, these contain the most gold. I'm not exactly sure. That's a Gold Corner BGA with a... That's number two copper if you pop that off of there. <clears throat> Quite a bit of weight to that. 
And then you have just BGAs, basically. They're not gold corner. Uh, that's your main things, really, is your crystal oscillators, your IC flat packs, uh, your IC chips, BGAs and gold corner BGAs. And most of them you can sell to a refiner. Um, you can either sell it to them directly or you can ship it to them and let them refine it and they're going to keep a certain percentage of the gold that they recover out of it and ship you what's left. <clears throat> All this up here is processors. Um, they're sold by weight or you can refine the gold out of them yourself or you can send them to a refiner and again they'll keep part of it and, and send you the rest. Now something that I, I do collect and I don't have all the information on yet. Uh, hang on and I'll go get a couple. Alright, so it's going to be these little things. Uh, and I, of course, can't recall, recall the name of them at the moment. Uh, anyway, so these things. So I've seen some videos on them. I know a lot of scrappers bust the copper, uh, bust the copper, bust the plastic off of it. And if you can see right there, that's copper underneath, right there on that little corner. Let's see if we can. And uh, send them as number two copper. Again, you can see there's copper right there in the corner where it's busted. However, I saw a video somewhere, and I'm not sure where, saying that there's three metals in here. There's gold, silver, and copper. And they showed how to uh, extract that stuff from it and, uh, and get it all out. And I'm looking for that video again because I've got like a, a nice little ice cream bucket almost full of these. Uh, the legs are normally copper too, so you don't have to break the legs off. I'm not sure if y'all can see that center one that's broke. It's got a little little dab of copper you can shine in through in the middle of it. Um, MOSFETs. That's what they're called. These are MOSFETs. So these are normally bolted to some type of an aluminum or cop, uh, copper steel uh, because these heat up and they have to dissipate the heat. So that's normally one way to find these is they're normally connected to the side of some type of aluminum, extruded aluminum, um, that helps dissipate the heat from that these make so they don't they don't burn up. Um, <clears throat> so that's a good way to to find them. You will occasionally find one stuck out there in the middle of the board by itself, uh, here or there. I guess it kind of depends on what it's being used for. A lot of them have plastic backs, and some of them have a, a metal back. Um, so these are, are interesting little things, and I'm still learning about these and what exactly to do with them. Um, I do know you can sell them as number two copper. Whack them with a hammer, knock that plastic off, and drop it in the number two copper bucket. And that seems to be what most of these scrappers do with them. Um, but hopefully you'll see a video from me before too long that really gives you the rest of what's in it, uh, maybe if it should or shouldn't be done, um, as far as trying to recover gold or silver out of them and that kind of thing. So I've got a little bit of studying to do on these. I'll update y'all whenever I figure it out and, uh, we'll go from there. So if there's any components that you got any questions about, let me know. But those are the main components that you're worried about extracting off of a board, uh, any type of board, to be able to sell. Uh, I don't know if, if you can sell these to refiners or anything like that. Um, I haven't seen anything saying that you can or seen anybody looking for them. But this may be one of these things that uh, not everybody knows so far. Uh, they just think it's number two copper is all you can get for them. And, uh, and you're missing out on some other metals. So uh, time will tell. We'll see. As I said, I will definitely update y'all. I uh, hope this video has helped y'all be able to locate and see what some of these things look like. And give you some idea of what to do with them. Uh, there's a category for not quite all of it, but most of it with board sort. 
where they sell you can sell it to them by the pound um if you so you know desire to do that or you can sell that stuff to refiners and they will send you your portion of the gold back after they've recovered you know their stuff and time but uh yeah so anyway hope y'all enjoyed hope this has helped and uh we'll see y'all next time